Hi, Scorpio viewers. Last reading I did, I was getting that there's some kind of black magic involved, or there was, but it's nothing to be afraid of because you can remove the blocks yourself. But let's see what's going on now. Let's see what the current updates are. And I'm, I try to remain unbiased. The cards just talk about whatever they want to talk about, talk about. This could be love. This could be career. This could be finances. You know, the cards just say whatever they want to say. Seven of Swords. The Hierophant. Queen of Cups. The Devil. The Nine of Swords is some very interesting energy here. I don't know what you guys are going through. This is weird. <laughs> Nine of Swords, Four of Swords, Queen of Swords, Five of Pentacles, the Sun. Okay. So I do feel like you're coming out of a period of darkness. Or maybe you, you, maybe you have come out of it or you're about to be coming out of it. Like you're kind of in this transition right now. So it, I think your spirit guides are basically just saying, you know, this is a rough transition, but be easy on yourself. You're going to have a lot of mixed emotions. There's a lot of strange mixed energy here, you know, so go easy on yourself through this process. You might have just gone through a dark night of the soul. This could also be letting you know what your person is going through. Your person might be going through a dark night of the soul. And it's basically just saying, trust the process. I know this energy is hectic. It's it's kind of scary. It's kind of intense and confusing at times. But try to just be easy with yourself. I basically just see a lot of mixed energy here. And like I said, this could be male or female. Could be you or could be a person. I think intuitively, if this is your story, if this is your energy group, you will know which is which. But I just see someone who um, maybe has mental illness or some kind of instability. Might not even be mental illness. And in full disclaimer, I'm not qualified to diagnose any kind of mental illness. That's something I'm never going to do. So, you know. But I see like very back and forth energy here. Like Seven of Swords, that can be dishonesty, escapism. I could see this too as sabotaging, running away, um, creating problems that aren't there. And then it's like... It's like this person acts on their fears and it doesn't even necessarily mean mental illness. Like maybe you've just been through a lot of trauma and a lot of heartbreak in relationships or maybe your person has, maybe they're not actually mentally ill or you're not actually mentally ill, but I mean, and most people are, I just want to say that there's so many people that have personality disorders or mood disorders. Like they're, they're so much more common than people think. Like it's nothing to be ashamed of. It's, I, I'd say more than 50% of the population probably has them. I don't know if that's true, but like I... I think they're a lot more common than people realize with this day and age in this day and age, how society is like, like our minds are not equipped to deal with this kind of trauma on the regular. You know what I mean? Like we environmental factors, everything else like, but anyway, mental illness or no mental illness, you know, whatever it's, it's just back and forth energy. I hear, I feel it's like someone that kind of sabotages things out of fear. Like they, they, they might be confrontational or they might also, I could also see this as them running out of fear, like them creating the worst case scenarios in their head, sabotaging things like I'm going to leave you before you can leave me kind of energy. And then the Hierophant is about control. So it's like they go through these phases where they go through this and then and then they try to control themselves. Like they try to stop themselves from being like that. They're, they try to they try to take the reins in, but they're not getting, they're not addressing the trauma or they're not, um, how do I even explain that? It's like, and a red necklace or a red apple might be like snow white kind of energy might be significant to someone here too, or red roses here. But, um, but anyway, it's like they go through those phases, like that kind of flighty, fearful energy where they just get stuck in their head. And then they try to take the reins and with the Hierophant here, it's like they try to, that's about control. That's about um, fitting in with society, societal standards, you know, trying to, to be pre presentable to society. So it's like very back and forth energy here where it's like they go through these phases and then they try to just stop themselves from going through these phases. Like they try to, you know, put on a mask and, and just, you know, tell themselves they're fine and healthy and whatever else. But it's like really they, this person needs... 
I don't know what the, I don't know what it would be. I don't know if it'd be counseling. I don't know if it'd be someone to talk to more friends. Like you, you, you know, I don't know exactly what they would need. I'm not, I'm not qualified to diagnose something like that, but it's like, all I know is that this person is not dealing with the traumas. This person is not dealing with their pain, with the roots of their, their fears and their insecurities and the things that make them want to run. You know, like they need to deal with this or it's going to be constant back and forth energy, like darkness, light, hot and cold, like just back and forth. There's no balance. I could also see this as if someone's messing with your, messing with your head emotionally and you're thinking about letting them go or you have let them go because you know that they're gaslighting you or not treating you well. I think it's kind of like the go ahead from your guides. It's saying, yeah, this person is actually causing you trauma. So it is actually you did the right thing letting them go or you're doing the right thing like listening to the red flags finally because this person it's like you can't be vulnerable with this person because they keep hurting you with the queen of cups it's like you kind of get to a point where you're like vulnerable and you're emotional or your person does like i said this could be your person male or female that's in this energy it could be a man and feminine energy you know there's no gender here but i just see this queen of cups energy it's like It's like someone's um, like vulnerable and open. Someone's someone starts thinking that they have that balance, but they really haven't dealt with all this. So they think that they have this balance. They think that they have this emotional balance. They think that they're all fine because they're putting on a front and saying like, "I'm confident. I'm good." Like, like on paper, they look successful. You know what I mean? Like they might be financially stable or successful, or they might have they might have a lot of good stuff going on like on the outside and so they start feeling confident and feeling emotional and vulnerable like oh see i'm good or they might just go through phases where it's like they're one extreme to the other where it's like their emotions either get the worst of them or they, it, it turns out for the best where they're the queen of cups you know where they're emotional and vulnerable but then that devil energy comes in and this could be addiction this could be substance abuse um drinking it could be uh it's just addiction. It could be negative thought patterns. It could be self-sabotage. The devil is just all about self-sabotage energy. So it's like this back and forth energy and then the devil comes in at some point. And this person really, the message I get here is this person needs to deal with the trauma. Like if this is someone causing the trauma, that person needs to be cut out of your life. If this is you and you're thinking about cutting someone out, like a family member, like could be like a mother or a father or someone that just kind of uses you and gaslights you and abuses you someone who's a psychic vampire and you can feel that energy and you know that they're mentally messing you up a spirit your spirit like and you would know this with this like don't try to make it fit if it doesn't fit like intuitively you would know if this is your story but you know it's, it's kind of saying like yeah you're doing the right thing by distancing yourself from this person don't let them guilt trip you into this because people that gaslight will guilt trip you they will make you feel bad like oh i'm your mother how could you just abandon me like this you know what i mean it's like no like you need to do what's best for you. If someone's hurting you like this, you you need to step out of this energy. Um, but like I said, for others, this could be just saying what's going on with your person. Maybe you're kind of confused by your person's energy because they're all over the place. Like maybe this isn't you going through this, but maybe it's your person and your person has some stuff that they really need to work through and heal. Um, and then we have nine of swords, which is like anxiety, hopelessness, like restless, like restless nights. It's like this person feels like a failure. Like they just, they're back and forth. Like they can't get it together. And whether this is you or your person, I mean, my advice basically is like, if this is you and you know that someone's doing this to you, like someone's putting you in this energy where you are like all over the place, like you don't feel mentally right. Like you feel like, like, like devil energy. Like you feel like your um how do I even explain it like this person keeps playing games and like hurting you or this person keeps like gaslighting you or being abusive with you or whatever else like maybe like even like a mother figure that's doing this whatever it might be it's like don't allow that anymore you know what I mean like it's just devil energy that you need to free yourself from otherwise it just leads to more anxiety four of swords there's a period of rest or healing here that needs to happen like just taking the load off and just resting and healing and recovering 
And then when you can do that, you can gather your strength. You'll be able to, if this is you going through this, then it wants you rest and heal and go easier on yourself. Don't put on this front and just pretend like everything's okay. This trauma needs to be dealt with. If there's a toxic person that's dragging you down, that's making you feel like you're just not good enough, like you're like guilt tripping you, making you feel like you're never enough. Um, let's see here like going back and forth with you, you know, like devil energy. It's like, you know, you're going to need to rest for a while and heal from this heartbreak, but then be strong and be in the queen of swords energy, you know, gather your strength to cut this person out and to do what's best for you. You know what I mean? Learn to find that balance. Um, or if this is your person going through this, it's just kind of saying be patient with them because it's like, they have a lot of fears and traumas that are coming up that they need to deal with. And this person does need to deal with them. Whoever this is, whether it's you or your person, this needs to be dealt with, whether it means cutting out someone who's toxic and abusive and just gaslighting you and like, you know, like you can't be vulnerable with them and you feel that like you, like, you know, that they're just like, they don't love you or whatever. Like, you know, that they just kind of like, like almost, I feel like a parent figure for some but um, that's just kind of, you know, like low-key abusive in some ways. But you would know. Like, you wouldn't have to try to make it fit. Like, you would intuitively know this already, I feel. But, um... Yeah, and for others, it's like... Like I said, it's... Either your person is dealing with this and it's just showing you what's going on with them. And they... but Or if it's you, whoever it is, this person, like someone here needs to get some help for this, some kind of help, some kind of maybe even like a group or an organization, some kind of social support, some kind of help. Um, cause these traumas need to be dealt with. Otherwise it's going to be the same back and forth energy. This person's going to keep going back and forth. And it's like, if they're ever going to be consistent and find a balance instead of going from one extreme to the other, they need to get some kind of help for that. But whatever it is, I see them, um, it's like you might, they might suffer a financial loss or you might suffer a financial loss from, um, or even anxiety from, from cutting this person out. This could be someone that you're, that you or they are financially reliant on, or it could be like a business partner or something, um, for some, not for all. I think, you know, if this is your story or not, you'll know who it is. Like I said, if you're trying to make it fit, then and it's then it's not your story. You know what I mean? Like this will fit and this will be this will all this will resonate with you well if this is your story. But with the sun, I do see you moving forward. Like you will get through this. This will be this will this energy will be cleared up. But you're gonna have to someone's gonna have to take this sword and cut out possibly a toxic business partner or a toxic parent, something of something of that sort. Or they're going to, like the, like the other scenario too, as I said, someone might need some, some mental help also for, um, you know, for, for their own fears and insecurities. It might not even be a toxic person in their life. It might just be their own self-sabotage. But whatever this is, this needs to be looked at now. Whether it's you or your person, this needs to be looked at. This needs to be understood. This needs to, you can't just put a band-aid on this anymore. You can't just cover it up with positive thinking like this. This needs to be addressed finally. And yeah, it might be difficult. It might be a struggle, but you're going to come out victorious on the other side. The sun is like something, or your person is, either way. Yeah. Yeah, the hermit, maybe maybe a period of um, like kind of introspection, figuring things out, but then there's a new start when it comes to love. Actually, multiple choices when it comes to love and celebration, success, parties possibly. Eight of swords, then a pentacles. Five of Wands. Yeah, letting go of the burdens too, like the people that held you back, the people that ignored you and ghosted you, the people that you fought for that didn't really want you in the end. It's like you wake up and you realize you were in the Eight of Swords energy or they wake up and they realize they were in the Eight of Swords energy and that there's an opening right in front of them. The Eight of Swords traditionally, it's like you have all these swords around you, but there's an opening right in front of you. 
and it's like this person's waking up and they're like, oh, wow, I do have this opening. I have my castle. I have my, my true love, my home, everything right in front of me. I just have to let these burdens go now and I have to let myself heal now and realize that, you know, fun and love and success and abundance and happiness is mine finally and the choice is mine. So, so lots of good energy here once this is cleared up. Um, anyway, I hope that resonates with you guys. If you'd like a private reading, email me. My email is below. Um, any donations are appreciated and please subscribe if it resonates.